we're live. <laughs> that seems like there's 2,200 people. I'm like, pretty sure there's not 2,200 people it, waiting. It, 222. Oh, 222, okay. <laughs> Good to know. I don't see it, we're live, are we live? It says waiting. Did you hit go live? Yeah, we're live, you guys. Okay. I don't know what's going on because it's nine o'clock in the east, but we're seeing our friends in the west coast. Matt, um, Rachel Murray and Renee are up, which means it's six o'clock in the west coast, and we're making the viral sensation known as the tortilla wrap hack from TikTok, which I are not on. Brad's not on either, are you? No, I'm not. But we saw it somewhere, and I'm like, that's a kind of a cool idea. It's like a burrito. And we're doing breakfast with Bobby today. So let's do a breakfast tortilla wrap hack. Try saying that five times fast. It's like tortilla wrap hack, tick tuck, bitty bop, simbida bop, dee 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 dock, simbida boop, dee bop, dee boop, right? So we're gonna do a breakfast version with best in class ingredients. Um, we did the voting yesterday and I was like on community. I'm like, do you want Brad to be manning the camera or manning the comments next to me? I told Brad before I posted it, 80% will say holding the camera. And what happened? I told him that 80% would be the other way. I think I might have been right. And Brad was right. So is that because Brad was like too shaky for you guys or you want Brad actually reading comments on the ball? Super chat, Gary from the Jersey Shore. Oh, there he is, Jerry. I want to wish you all a happy Sunday. Thank you for all you do for all of us here. I've learned so much from your videos. Love, Jerry, good to see you again, my friend. Welcome, welcome. D Brown's in Appleton, Chili Appleton. He was here two days ago. He went from 80 degrees to negative 30 which is an ungodly amount of uh, change. It's just so weird to think that it's roughly an 80 degree difference right now between here and Chicago. Uh, that's that. I'm rocking my Laird hat because Laird, obviously we love Laird. They make best in class coffee creamers and other stuff, but they have a keto section on their website and there's some amazing keto products besides keto creamers, keto unsweetened Insta fuel. Has anyone tried the Laird Peely Nuts? Peely Nuts will be, I think, the next big nut Rose crushes them like a boss lady. They're the highest fat, lowest carb nut in the world. Can I show you what these look like? They're insane in the membrane. Look at that. They're wild harvested from the Philippines. They're only grown in volcanic ash and they're only fed by rainwater. It's literally loco and la cabeza. They have uh, Himalayan salt, they have cacao, they have uh, uh, green tea. Um, so use my link down below. Get anything Laird makes. You know they literally make the best stuff in the world. Um, but I just gave Brad a packet of this. This is their daily greens powder. A lot of people ask me about like uh, athletic greens because it's very popular. That one's just okay. Um, they have a cruddy form of vitamin C in there and natural flavors. This is organic greens, prebiotics, and mushrooms. I put that in my smoothie every day. Amazing stuff. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea and a cup of coffee in a second here because it's Sunday fun day and we gotta get going on our tick. Chuck, take it to the take it, take it, tick breakfast tortilla wrap. Ra, 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 ra. <laughs> <Speaking of. laughs> I say how to de slough. I guess. In a couple of years, Rosa's gonna be like, Dad, you are the most embarrassing person ever. Yeah, right? Speaking of peeling nuts, I have some yogurt with peeling nuts too. By the way, who is this person on YouTube who's ripping and stealing my Facebook videos and Instagram stories with Rose and putting them to her? I can't even report her. I tried to report her. And like, it wouldn't let me do it. You can't leave comments. Can everyone go find that channel and report her? It's like Marpier USA. She's like ripping my comments. Like, Rose makes something with daddy. Rose is moving to Florida. I'm like, who do you think oh you are? God. So weird. So weird. Weird, wacky stuff. All right, Viviana in the house. That's right. Viviana with that backwards hat and the wrapping. I'm like a beastie boy officially now, basically. Hey, man is in the house. Stang man from Austin. So leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Jackie had on my girl in Strong Island says, Bobby, your house in Boca looks like it's going to be a mansion. The house in Boca's coming up, right? I'm coming up. The walls are coming up. Looks good. It's going to be nice, Jackie. We can't wait to have you down there. Um, yes, thank you, Angie. Appreciate that. So uh, I'm excited too because we're going to make the organic chicken sausages from Costco, something they didn't have back up north but they have amazing ingredient, organic chicken sausages with no sugar, no filler, crazy stuff. And we're gonna do the wrap hack with Siete, 35% off all Siete products at Whole Foods. <laughs> Nana! Nana's as big as your cabeza! Ah -ha -ha. So we'll have Nana's, chicken sausages, pasture-raised eggs, 
beans, cheese, sour cream, and spinach. And then we'll go fold, 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 griddle, cheese, back in, cheese crust. And then we'll eat it and we'll say yum yum in my tum tum. So let's get rocking and rolling. I gotta boil some water for some layered superfood because I only drink coffee on the weekends. During the week I drink tea or I actually make like lattes out of creamer and uh, daily greens. So Brad's on comment control. How does audio sound? I got me on the mic, Brad's on the shotgun mic. And uh, that way we can get rocking and rolling on this beautiful Sunday morning here in South Florida. Thank you for joining Breakfast with Daddy. <laughs> Dada, yeah. I got my diffuser, which is working great to diffuse the heat on my jet engine propane here. We need some eggs, Rose Honey Bunny. Gaga, Gaga. we need some eggs, exactly. Gaga. Yeah. Gaga. Rose is eating peely nut yogurt and peely nuts. Are you strong, Rose? Ah, strong. Wow. Talk about the keto paleo baby. That's amazing. Do you have a free hand to crack an egg for daddy? <laughs> okay, here. Crack an egg for dad. Thank you. She loves to crack it on the tip. It's so funny. Yes, my sweet love? Am I allowed to respond to a comment if someone asks me a question? Of course. Ask Brad anything you want. He can type it in. He can... Uh, and he, Brad is here to be the official moderator. I told him we should get him fake glasses and an espresso cup so he could be like a hipster at a coffee shop. But yeah, Brad's on comment duty today. Here you go, Russ. Crack me some more eggs. One hand on the peely nutter butter. There you go, with, a, with authority. Beautiful pasture raised eggs. Are you finished? Thank you. Peely nuts, the best thing. Try the peely nuts on uh, Laird. And when you go to their website, you'll always see a pop-up for 10% off when you join their email list. Check it out. Elaine Honeycutt, Super Chat, $5. Good morning and welcome to Florida, smiley face. Hey, Elaine, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Loving Florida, loving the timing of the move. Missed out on 16 inches of snow, mixed out on negative 30 degrees. One, two, three, four, five eggs, Rose. Six eggs. In the house. There she is. There she is, right? <laughs> Rose, we need a little bit of salt. <laughs> Rose and I have a guacamole video going live this morning on uh, uh, Facebook. Perfect for the big game. Ah, give me one more pinch, Rose. comments about the weather. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. I'm telling you. Super, super stoked about it. Can I have one more pinch of salt? Grazie mille. Grazie, grazie, grazie. We call her Salt Bay. B. Rush, should we cook the eggs in some ghee butter? <laughs> Rachel Murray, $25 super chat. There's my gal. Hi family, so glad I'm able to join the live stream today. Still crazy at the queue, dealing with a $430 Cal OSHA citation. That doesn't sound good for business, but if there's someone who can handle it, it's Rachel Murray. Thank you for that, Rachie. Appreciate it. All right, welcome y'all. It is 9-12 on the east, 6-12 on the west coast. We're making the breakfast tortilla wrap hack from TikTok. <laughs> Rose is rhyming, are you kidding me? Uh, we're doing it Bobby style with best in class ingredients. It's gonna be great, it's basically a burrito. Are you gonna mix up, Rose? Like a DJ, like wicka 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 right? Dang, you got musicality, girlfriend. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We're working on a line of really nice aprons for Rose. For other kids out there, it's gonna be a Rose Honey collection. Desi's brother in Bulgaria is designing it right now. We're gonna find some beautiful organic cotton. Is that something anyone would be interested in? I just feel like so many kids are watching Rose Honey cook now. They wanna wear your stuff, Rose. Look at that dog out there, it's running, it's rolling around in the, in the grass, having a good time. Is that doggy? And there's another dog, there's a standard poodle right now. Oh my gosh, it's dog paradise out there. Oh wow. Larry of Super Chef just came in. Daisy, $5. Thank you, Daisy. Teresa, $5. Eight pounds lost on clean eating. Bobby approved. Oh, love it, Teresa. 
and JH, Canadian $5. Good morning, guys. Have you gone swimming in the pool at all yet? Mm. Question mark. Mm. Jen, welcome. No, it's too cold right now for the pool. It's not a heated pool. Our next house will be. So give it like June when it warms up. I heard it gets to like a, a bath basically come like July, August. A little bit of propolis spray to keep my voice fresh and clean. Ain't nobody fresh as you. Oh, the dog is rolling around. Looks like a real scrapper. Look at that, Rosie. Yeah. How cute. Okay, eggs go in. This is my new uh, Teflon plan. I'm not Teflon yet. Ceramic pan, part of the cookware project I'm working on. Some really exciting stuff we're working on right now, right, Rose? So excited. I'm so excited. Someone said careful with the glass of water for Rose. Ah, yes. Rose prefers to drink out of big glasses, but I will keep an eye on that. Thank you. Okay, then we'll do some eggs here, low and slow. I'll start preheating the big cast iron by my man. Bradley, I use the diffuser here too. Another super chat, Jackie Adam Spiegel. Bobby, is Costco better in Pompano Beach than, than in Chicago? Yes, um, absolutely. Stripper, and I loved Igor, your kale stripper, and I love the pizza recipe. I'm making the pizza today for Super Bowl Ooh, Sunday. Oh man, the pizza party last night with Capello's almond flour crust pizza, organic valley mozzarella, and good stuff. Oh my gosh. And yes, the Costco, Brad can attest to it. It's better here, right? It's really interesting, the options that they have here. Yeah, it's better. They, they have a few better things. It's pretty exciting. Bobby, what type of spatula would you use on a ceramic, on a ceramic pan? Only um, soft ones. Rubber, silicone, or I have that really high quality plastic one from Matt Fur uh, that Art recommended. That won't melt. I would never use a metal utensil or anything that could scratch. Sweetie, we got a, a glass breakage here. Well, you don't learn your lesson. No, one, no, it was her. Uh, it was her yogurt. Hey, we're breaking glasses every day. All right, let's evacuate Rose. Let's take, take it up with the uh, oven next. The big piece of glass. Yes. We bre are breaking glasses left and right here, and unfortunately, it's all hard floors, so things are shattering left and right. Everyone. Yeah, the oven mitts are below, careful Brad, are below rows. And then the, um, yeah, the, uh, and it breaks. It's a hard floor. the dust pan is uh, in the laundry room. Hard floor. Okay. Brad's going for moderation to uh, we are done here. clean up duty here. Rose. Crazy, man. Cannot believe how much glass is breaking. That's good luck, though, isn't it? To break some glass, I think. I heard somewhere. It's all the way by the door? Whoa. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, we're getting Dyson. We're going to get a Dyson. We have a Dyson. So first, let's get the big pieces. And then we'll grab the... Uh, let's grab the dustpan, Brad, too. Yeah. Okay, sausages going. With a little bit of butter. It's okay. We'll bring it back, Rose, to you as soon as uh, we clean up here. The show must go on. The show must go on, exactly. Uh, no, the house is in the city like one over. So the house, the house we're building is in Boca Raton. We're renting a house in Pompano Beach. No, Rose has been using um, glass for the longest time. Uh, the one we use is usually um, the, uh, uh, kids safer. But no, it's very important for Montessori for kids to be exposed to stuff like that. Cause yeah, I think the sweeper's yeah. outside. Just... Well, hold on. I wanna... Can you ask your mom to get the dustpan part outside she was using in the garden bin? That one will shatter, but her actual water cups are the kind of glass that won't like shatter, shatter like that. We actually dropped one yesterday and it didn't even uh, shatter. Then we'll bring in the Dyson. Dyson's like a hundred bucks or more off at uh, Costco right now. All right, in the meantime, let's make some coffee. Coffee break, coffee chat.
comedians in cars getting coffee. I'm gonna use today Laird Unsweetened Insta Fuel, but to be honest, even the Insta, the sweetened one has like one gram of uh, coconut sugar mixed with chocolate mint creamer. So I'm making a chocolate mint cocoa latte. Starbucks, hey, whoa, they don't got that, right? So I'll make one of those. So my link down below takes you to the keto page on, um, on Laird. Obviously, you know I love everything on Laird, but that's all keto stuff. So stuff that doesn't have um, any coconut sugar or maybe one gram of coconut sugar because the chocolate mint only has one gram of coconut sugar per serving. Um, but the most keto thing out there are Peely Nuts. If you like butter and you want to try the nut version of it, this is crispy butter. It's the most fatty, delicious nut in the world. Oh my God, it's crazy. Try those. Um, the cocoa version is not keto, but it has raw cacao powder with um, a little bit of like Himalayan pink salt. It's so lovely. It's crazy. Okay. Beautiful. Get a little hot water in here. Loving the diffuser too. And then today we're gonna to go to the beach, I think. Hang out at the beach, sorry for rubbing it in. And then watch the Super Bowl. I got three pounds of uh, pasture-raised chicken wings in the old refrigerator. And we're gonna make it up. Jackie just uh, bought the crown maple. Watch your feet. Yeah, I'm wearing my hotel slippers, so I better look out, right? What kind of tortilla does Bobby use? Burritos as big as my head. Siete. I usually use siete uh, taco. They make a paleo. Uh, cassava flour, avocado oil, um, burrito wrapper, and all siete. Every siete is on sale right now at uh, Whole Foods. Um, and we were at Sprouts Farmer's Market uh, Friday, and a video is coming out on Tuesday or Wednesday. They have some new, I'll show you, siete products. And for some reason, Sprouts is getting it uh, first. Potato chips cooked in olive oil, Mexican wedding cookies, Mexican chocolate cookies, Mexican shortbread cookies made with the best in class ingredients. That with a cup of joe right now I'm going to have. Amazing. The thing about sprouts, and we didn't have it in Chicago. Que rico. Ay muy caro, amigo. So expensive there. But all my fans were like, no, Bob, you got to shop when they have the sales. And I was like, okay, well, can't really only go to a store when they have sales, but the cool thing is, Brad, the stuff they had there was crazy, right? It's so awesome. You've ne I've seen products there that I've never seen anywhere else. Like, you'll see the video, you're like, what the what? Is that it? Yeah, should we get the uh, yeah, Dyson? Yeah, grab the Dyson, just to be safe. There's my girl Maritza Castello. Thanks so much for your email response. Also, are the peeling nuts in lava sprouted? Good question. In the... Yogurt they are, it doesn't say in the milk, but DM them on Instagram, I can almost guarantee they are sprouted in the milk and they're delicious. Okay, Dyson break. Ooh, nice, color. nice color on the sausage here. Yeah, there's gotta be some pieces here and there, right? Yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So look at this, only at Sprouts right now. Siete Mexican shortbread cookies. Look at these ingredients. Like, are you kidding me? Gluten-free blend of good flours, coconut oil, avocado oil, coconut sugar, jasmine tea extract, orange peel powder. Wow, wow, wee wow. Insane in the membrane. I'm gonna have one of these with my uh, coffee right now because it's Sunday it's like brunch or whatever so you can do sweet and savory mm. well let me show you so try peeling nuts right oh thank you Kent appreciate that my man Good news, Flav City with our friends, Los Angeles. Oh, thank you so much, Kent. Look at this, wild sprouted peely nuts from um, Philippines. Look at those macros, insane. More importantly, 
Look at the size of these. They're huge and they're hand harvested. They're sprouted. They're insane in the membrane. I'm telling you, the best way to describe the flavor is crispy butter. Literally, I'm telling you, look at this. Mm. Rosie, I have your cookbook and love your shows. I learn something new every day. Thank you, Rosie, appreciate that. Cookbook is coming back in stock very soon. Use my link down below or search Flav City on Amazon. Thank you, bro. Look at Brad on the ball. Can we get a round of applause for Bradley? A uh, little round of applause. Then I'm just gonna warm up some, uh, have some black beans. I was gonna make refry, but I'm like, you know what? It's too much of a schlep for a Sunday morning. Right, Jackie? Oy vey, who's got time for that? Mishagash. I haven't used that word in a while, Mishagash. If you're a black coffee drinker, get the Focus Coffee. It has um, mushrooms and coffee cherry powder, which is really good for focus and brain, and the coffee is amazing. Okay, Brad's back, y'all. Get the chicken sausage out, nicely brown. Keep your questions rolling in. Brad's on duty. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for breakfast this morning. Any burning questions for me or Brad, we're there. Um, and let us know where you're watching from. We always love to know those burning questions. Renee wants to know if you can get a discount on the uh, diffuser plates. Uh, I'll ask. I feel like it's a really niche product, but I will ask for you, Renee. So I'm not gonna do um, refried beans, but how about we do this, right? How about we at least warm them up and put a little kiss of maybe smoked paprika and cumin on there. Don't talk, just kiss. Give me smoke, pub. Super chat. Yeah, right? Milwaukee Brewer. Um, so, we can look, so we can look smart in chat. How do we spell Desi's mom's name? D A N I. Baba Dani. Or the full name is Yordanka. We just call it Baba Dani. A little bit of. Trivia, do beans like black beans need to be organic or can I just save money and get conventional? And why would I have, why if, if organic and why if conventional? Come on out boys, don't be shy. Lori asked if I cook too. Lori, I don't think you wanna see that, trust me. <laughs> Brad's really good at helping me clean the kitchen. He pretty much just takes over and does it for me, which is quite nice. Got to rinse off the fart water. What are the answers to the trivia, Brad, about beans? Oh, well, I'm putting... There's not many. Almost missed there. Super chat from Barbara Winchell. You are awesome. Michigan here. Rice porridge for breakfast today. Wind chills eight below. Dang, rice porridge? I don't blame you. Like something hearty? I totally feel you, girl. Look up my recipe for pumpkin spiced hemp heart oatmeal. Google search Flav City hemp heart oatmeal. Bomb.com. Now the comments are rolling in. A lot of people saying organic. The answer is organic. And it's going back to our old pal. What's the most devastating ingredient in agriculture? Glyphosate. Glyphosate via Roundup, via Monsanto. Problem is it's so prevalent in modern farming that it tends to affect crops like legumes, oats, and um, wheat. So when you're talking about those ingredients, they really should be um, organic, in my humble opine. Right, can you open this drawer here and get smoked paprika for me, por favor? And to be honest, organic beans are like an extra what? 20 cents. If you can afford it, go for it. Per, uh, uh, you know what? I think you got it from coffee and tea. I'll grab it. Brad was not. What's that? It, it's already been run. Yeah. Brad was nice enough to go to my favorite spice shop in Chicago and bring some spices for me. Uh, isn't that nice? Judy asked what kind of salt do you and Rosie use? Uh, we only use Celtic sea salt. All right, what kind of salt do we use, Rose? Celtic sea salt, unrefined. We use the Celtic kosher. It's now on Amazon in a one pound bag. I buy the 14 pound bags because we go through it 
out really quick and it never goes bad. Um, if you want to use Himalayan pink salt, that's fine. Just know the qualities of Himalayan vary greatly. Celtic sea salt is only from Brittany, France. And it, whoa, you're all the way over there, sister? Come back over and say hi. I'll give you a snossage. Dirk said, what bread is a great cook? He cooked dinner for his chef friend on <laughs> Friday. Friday was great because Dirk basically cooked dinner for us. Brad cleaned up. And I worked on the video for... Uh, the weekend while they were doing it. I just dropped the uh, pasture-raised pork. Mm, it's good. In the pressure cooker, and that was it. What would, what would you say is the best dairy-free beer? Or one of the best? Easy. Miyoko's. Miyoko's is the best one out there. It's got no nasty uh, ingredients. The worst ones are like the... Um, what's that? What's that brand that was really bad? Like, for oh, plant-based. Oh, um, Earth Balance? Earth Balance is atrocious. Rose Honey Bunny! No glass near you right now, Rose Honey Bunny. You wanna try the sausage? No, Himalayan is not best for health. It's really good. Celtic sea salt actually has more minerals. The problem is Himalayan comes from a huge region of mountains in the Pakistani uh, country. You can get varying different qualities and you don't know what it is. It's like steak. Choice, prime, select. When you get something like a Celtic sea salt, it's only prime. It's only the best stuff. The variations or the quality can really vary for uh, Himalayan. And you don't know what you got, right, Russ? Right. You, you don't know what you got till it's gone. Never know what you got till it's gone. Who sings that, that song? On that note, yeah. a couple of people have asked about Redmond salt. Yeah, Redmond is great. The only problem with Redmond for us is that it's very mineral heavy and it gets a little crunchy in your teeth. Even when I get the fine salt, I used to love it, but like I would season pasta water and cook with it. It's a little crunchy here and there. If you don't mind it, go for it, right? It was just for us, it was a little crunchy. That being said, I used their uh, toothpaste. I gave some to Red too. Their Redmond earth paste is wicka, 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 awesome. Okay, I think it's time to yeah look up how big the nana is Rose. look how big the nana is you want to eat the nana it's so big though it's bigger than your head look at that can you handle that nana can you handle the truth rose have you said hi to everyone by the way hi everyone <laughs> oh there's a mouse in the house there's a mouse in the house and her name is rose honey pierish yeah my sweet love yeah Mm-hmm. Oh, for that? Thank you very much. Let me get the um, dairy-free sour cream out. Yeah. The key to burrito wraps, you have to griddle them first, and you can't put it directly in the burner. You have to put it in a big cazuela, right, Rose? A big pan. You got to do it. Are you enjoying your chicken sausage, by the way? Margie asks, when should I use kosher salt versus Celtic salt? So, what do you think, Rose? Yeah, you want to use the Celtic kosher salt. Because traditional kosher salt from like a, um, a Morton's or one of those guys is going to be bleached and processed and refined. Search a video on YouTube called Flav City Salt. Traditional salt ah, is bleached and processed and has anti-caking agents. Kosher refers to the size of the salt crystal. It's good for pinching, which is why I use Celtic kosher because I can pinch and control it. If you try to do that with fine Himalayan pink salt, it falls through your fingers like sand. Dust in the wind. <laughs> you want to control how much salt is going on. Fine salt is good for finishing. Oh, here you go, sweet. Let me get you a spoon. Hold on, hold your horses, young lady. Someone asks um, here you go. your opinion on peanut oil, good or bad? Highly processed and highly refined. There's no, no such thing as like virgin peanut oil. Let me just do something on Facebook real quick. Um, yeah. Listen, when it comes to oil, I would only have in your kitchen avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil for cooking and finishing, and um, virgin coconut oil. That's it. Now, I cook with extra virgin olive oil because it's unprocessed, unrefined. When you go one more... Thank you, dear. When you go one more step, it's too processed. So I cook with a good extra virgin olive oil, and then I finish with a really good extra virgin olive oil. I've said it before in other videos, but 
The Kirkland Costco 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil is consistently rated pure and very high quality. That's my cooking extra virgin olive oil. My finishing is that bottle of uh, Casa Waldo from um, Spain, right? So very important. Problem is everyone was grown up to like use canola oil and garbage like that. Just posting the recipe. The video for our rose in my guacamole just launched on Facebook if you wanna watch it afterwards. Yeah, and then a lot of people say, oh, what about the organic Italian oil or the Spanish olive oil at uh, Costco? No, just the Italian 100% is top rated because when you come to olive oil and avocado oil, over 80% of the stuff you see on the store shelf is fake, expired, rancid, and cut with other oils like peanut oil. It's the biggest fugazi. It's a fugazi market, right? But <laughs> exactly, that's how I'd feel if I bought some fugazi oil. Yeah, right? You want to get the real deal. So Jackie Adam Spiegel on a super chat on a rocket ship gave, gave you forty nine ninety. Oh my God. Jackie, you are the sweetest thing. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank In you. Long Island. I'm pumping up the uh, AC there. Jackie's amazing. <laughs> Woohoo! Bobby, what's the best sugar substitute? If you're paleo, gaga. coconut sugar gaga. and maple syrup. Gaga. If you're keto, gaga. gaga. You want eggs? Here, you go. Yeah, here you go. If you're uh, keto, monk fruit sweetener or allulose. I'm, I'm noticing more and more people are intolerant to sugar alcohols like erythritol. So if that's the case, try allulose if you're keto or diabetic or pure monk fruit. Big tortilla goes down in my big old cazuela de mija. Mm -hmm, my sweet love. Hey, should we get some, oh, some spinach? Mm, or, mm. Organic chicken sausages. Have you used jaggery powder as a sugar substitute? So jaggery powder is basically raw, unprocessed cane sugar. Um, it's not bad, right? It's actually probably one step below coconut sugar, but I prefer coconut sugar because it's um, from coconut nectar, not cane uh, sugar. Shaheen recommended um, that you move the plate away from her, she might drop it. No, believe me, when there's food on there, she ain't gonna drop it. Don't worry about that, sister. Uh, oh, and then I wanted um, the cheese. Yeah. Keep it up here, my sweet love. That's, for you, That's, for, That's you. for you. Keep it up here, sweet love. You want to give some bread? Bread, I'll wait. He's good, sweetie. Thank you so much, Rose. You don't worry about it. Rose is going to have a deconstructed tortilla. What was I going for? I was going for something. Mama. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Mama. So we're doing the uh, breakfast tortilla wrap hack with Beans, sausage, eggs, cheese, spinach. That's what Daddy. That's what Daddy was going for. It's Sunday morning. My brains are a little. Espinaca, Rosie. Okay, it's a must to toast the tortilla, right? You have to do that. Now, what's the key to making the wrap pack? It's easy as can be, right? But you just got to do one little slit, right here, Rose. So I'll take it right in the middle. I'll go like this. Beep. That's it. See how my tortilla now is open like that? That's all I had to do. I'll leave the first side bare or naked. I'll take my eggs over here. Probably don't want to overstuff it either. And then I'm going to make a cheese crust. Remember those breakfast burritos we did a couple weeks ago? Have you seen any... Um, TikToks, not that we watch, that use the, uh, oh, thank you, Rose, that use um, a cheese crust for them? Uh, I honestly have not. Let's start a TikTok account. Actually, I did TikTok two years ago this month, and I was like, I, I can't do this. I'm like, this is, <laughs> I'm too old for this, man. I'm too old for this, I said to myself. Can't, can't do it. Do you have a good, uh, more keto-friendly alternative to Siete Tortillas? Someone said they're getting a little bit tired of the cauliflower thins for right now. Yeah, um, to, to know that are crispy like to ch chips, no. Because even like chicken crisps, uh, crisp from wild um, are non-organic and have like, oh, did you hit your head, sweetie? Dusty, can you help me out? She, she leaned over to get her tortilla that she dropped and she just kind of banged her head a little bit. I know. Let's make this wrap together. Here, Mom, hold her so she can watch. Mommy's going to hold you so we make the wrap here. Let's make the wrap, love. Let's see. Mommy's going to observe. How Mommy's going to observe. Because when it comes to precision, Daddy's not the most like reliable when it comes to that. But see, Daddy. hot pan, just be careful. Okay. 
A little bit of organic valley queso, queso blanco. So far, so good, right? We're using Desi's favorite uh, cashew-based uh, sour cream. Yeah. To be honest, this Bart has a TikTok page. Yeah, right. Are you serious? That's hilarious if he does. And then we'll put some beans here. Spinach. Yeah, why not? A little greenery. And then, should I put avocado in or just maybe on the side? Mm, it's too much. Better. Too much. Less is more, right? Yeah, I don't, I'm not feeling this kind of good. Just a little bit of greenery. A so little Darlene bit. from Chicago. Oh, I know Darlene. I know Darlene. <clears throat> Made a chicken pesto and veggies mm, last night. Sausage. Five ingredient cookbook. <laughs> so good in all caps. So thank you, Dar Dar. Is that Dar Dar from the old school? Uh, Dar Darlene Miller. Okay, I'm not sure if it's the same Dar Dar, I know. But, um, Chicken pesto, veggies, bombdiggity.com. Okay, so here's what we do. You got everything I want here? Yeah. Chicken, sausage, eggs, sour cream, cheese, espinaca, black bean seasoned with cumino. Que pasó? You think uh, Abuela would approve so far? She would approve. She would approve. Okay, before we do that, you got to put it back in the pan to griddle it. So I put it in my brand new. How's the fan doing so far? Doing well. This is the potential part of a Flav City cookware set I'm working on right now that is like, could be a game changer. I don't want to spill the beans yet. Spill the old uh, frijoles. <laughs> Organic yeast, last ingredient in Primal Kitchen teriyaki sauce. What do you say about that? That's fine. It's not yeast extract. It's yeast. It might be yeast extract, but it's, that's good because it gives that funk. We go like that. We go like this. We go like this and like that. And like this, y'all. And like that, y'all. And then we go like that. Nice, man. Hey, que pasó? Okay. <laughs> then, so you could just eat it like this. Right? I just lost some frijoles. I should have put some sticky stuff with the beans. You, you know? Mash them. It would yeah, it's okay. They're going to get sealed right now. This is the first one. I'm making many. We'll just put it right there. And we'll let it toast on both sides. Then make a cheese crust. If you haven't seen me make a cheese crust before, stick around. You might want to press it like a panini, no? Um, I'm a little scared to do that. Why not? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, a little bit. There, there, there we go. go. Okay, let's do the second one, and this one will put some sticky stuff for the beans so they don't run all over the place. What sticky stuff? Uh, sour cream or something, you know? Jean says your five ingredient cauliflower mac and cheese was bomb in all caps. Thank you. Nice thing about that, if you don't want to make it a casserole, just toss the sauce with shells or pasta. Rose and I did that for a Facebook video. That was lovely. Rose and I just published a video to the Facebook page. Rose has taken over my Facebook page. I am old news. Everyone cares about Rose. And you know what? <coughs> I'm okay with that. Um, we published a video for um, guacamole with a tip, a tip for pickling red onions, that if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch it on Flav City uh, Facebook after we're done. Pickling red onions in lime juice will change your guacamole game. You'll become the Tom Brady of guacamole, basically. Mary asks, with so many different point of views online, what do you think about goat cheese, Bobby? I think um, it is preferable to pasteurized cow's milk cheese because it has smaller fat globules, making it easier to digest. And I believe it doesn't have the uh, A1 casein. So, yeah. Yeah, it has A2. A2. It's like Tom Brady. A2, A2, Omaha, Omaha. Huh. Now you caught the ball. Touchdown. Who's going to win the game? Bucks or Chiefs? I'm a Tommy uh, terrific kind of guy, so I'm, ro I'm rooting for him. All right, guys, it is 942 in Pompano Beach, Florida, on the East Coast. It is 642 in the West Coast. Are you going to call this with cheese bell? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 642. Thank you for waking up with breakfast with Bobby. Yeah. We're having the best cup of coffee you can probably have layered InstaFuel. I got their keto collection right here. InstaFuel, chocolate mint creamer. I got greens powder, the best greens powder. If you think Athletic Greens is good, try this. Um, performance mushrooms. I'm big on mushrooms. Peely nuts. 
Use my link down below. I only bring you guys the best stuff. And when you go to Laird, using my link, there's a, a pop-up. Do you want 10% off your order, Rose? Yeah, 10%? Who doesn't want 10% off? And then try something from Laird. You're going <laughs> to love it. Let me get my flipper ring you out here, Rose. There you go, sweetheart. All right, let's give it the old flipper -roo. Oh, Rose, do you know what GBD wow, stands for? Nice. Golden, brown, and dizzolicious. That looks moneyosity. And then I'll put it on this one, too. Nearly 1,400 people watching. Right nice. Now. The first weekend we were here, we had like 2,000 plus. Maybe they got bored. Like, oh, this guy's boring. <laughs> okay. Need a little more queso blanco, mijo. So this is the breakfast tortilla huh? wrap hack. I understand, like, for the last two years, we've always hit 40. It's so like, weird. It's like, okay, the channel has grown, like, double. <laughs> but we still have 40 now. It's the weirdest watch. thing. Hey, listen, I can't even keep up with the comments anyway, so maybe it's better that way. So, Bobby, what are your, what's the advantage of drinking Insta Fuel versus fresh brew? Uh, the calories seem high. Well, well, the calories are high because it's, it's a latte. It's with coconut milk powder, a touch of coconut sugar, but not in the uh, unsweetened one, and coconut oil. So, it's a latte, actually. And if you don't like straight coffee, like I can't drink too much straight coffee. It makes me like, like Kramer on Seinfeld. You want a coffee latte? I can get as many lattes as I want. It's like that. It's a latte, but instead of being made with palm oil and refined sugars, it's with virgin coconut oil, coconut milk, premium coffee, and best in class ingredients. And because it's made with coconut milk and oil, it has MCTs. So that's why I drink it. I really can't drink too much black coffee. Steve asks, does Laird make any coffee creamer without mushrooms? Yes, almost all of them have no mushrooms. The only one that has mushrooms is the original with mushrooms. All the ones, like the, uh, this one, the vanilla, the other ones have no mushrooms. But even if you get the mushrooms, it doesn't taste like shrooms. And I'm really big on functional mushrooms. Okay, let's make this one here. Let me warm this back up. It's starting to get a little chilly. I'll make a cheese crust for two at the same time. Are you eating all my snossage, Rosie? <laughs> my snossy? This is fun to do with uh, kids. Just prep it all. Let, let them do it themselves. Super fun. Okay, now we'll make another one. Okay, Rose Honey Bunny. We'll put our, I gotta make the slit. That's the only hard part about the recipe. Make a slip. You're done. Annette asks, how is Johnny P doing in Chicago? He's cold, but he's good. Thank you for asking, Annette. I appreciate that. Is that Annette S? Annette S. The kale stripper inventor. Yeah. Maggie B asks, how's Uncle Art? <clears throat> he's good. He just, he just texted Brad and I before we started with a screenshot of the seven-day forecast. Yeah. And like the next three days, the wind chill or what it feels like was what, 30? Like, ungodly. We got out of Chicago, y'all, literally, like, just in time. Literally just in time. We missed that big snow, and we're missing the deep oh. freeze. And right before we left, okay, people done. in our kept saying, it's very mild. It's very mild, you know? It's very mild. I'm like, oh, okay. It's going to be 80-some-odd degrees today. To think that it's literally 120, 100, 100, <laughs> think 110 degree difference with the uh, wind chill is, like, otherworldly. It's like, what? Que pasa? Cassie Davis, $10 super chat. Good morning. Hey, Cass. Nice to see you. I know that name. Yeah, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where in the world you are watching from today. Hey, fold. Fold. Heave. Ho. Oh, this happened. This one worked better because I put some sticky on there. Put it in there. Put a little weight on there. And then we'll make the cheese crust. I don't think I've seen people do the cheese crust for the breakfast tortilla. Rigga, 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 wrap hack. This uh, organic chicken sausage. It's delicious. Costco. Thank you for that, Erica. I will tell her privately. 
Brad and I published a video today for BJ's Wholesale. They only have them really on the East Coast. Brad and I went there with no expectations and we were a little biased. We go, oh, how good could it be? Whatever. <laughs> Mind blown. Not as good as Costco. Way better than the Sam's Club. <coughs> Watch the video when this is done. BJ's Wholesale Club is too legit. Too legit to quit. Oh my God, the stuff we saw there was great. It wasn't quite as cheap as Sam's or Costco, but they had even Costco beat on some stuff and they have 100% grass-fed organic whole milk. Does Costco have that? Uh, no, they do not. The Sam's Club? I, they don't. Wow, wow, wee wow is all I got to say to that, homie. So someone said, Bobby, my Whole Foods doesn't sell the Laird Creamers powder, only the Laird Creamers. Yes. Are those Bobby proof too? Oh, absolutely. Um, I've tried them once, they're amazing. No Whole Foods I know about sells the powdered ones, but they have the liquid ones. Amazing ingredients there. Uh, Sprouts Farmer's Market does have the layered powdered. I would just order them online, but the liquid one is fantastic. A couple of people have asked, what is the best in class dairy-free cheese that you'd recommend? Two, Miyoko's Cultured Cheddar. Miyoko's does it right. And um, Violife. I always want to say Violife. Violife. Still a little bit of a processed product, right? But those are the better ones. I personally, even though I'm a little bit lactose intolerant, I can have aged cheeses like mozzarella and cheddar because they don't have lactose. But I'd rather have, and I was talking about this with Erica, I'd rather have high quality grass-fed organic cheese over the dairy-free. But if your tummy can't handle it, then by all means, you know, you can do what you want to do. Just buy the best stuff. In living color. You walk off the moon floating like a balloon. You see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's kind to be. In living color. This is way before our Brad's date. Way before. You don't know that show, do you? In living color? No. What's that? Haha, living in color. Cheyenne. There you go, see? Keenan Ivory Waynes, Jennifer Lopez, Chris, uh, Jamie Foxx. Crazy stuff. Ramesh from Chicago says hello. Oh, nice. Thanks. Hey, Ramesh, are you going to be back on Food Network, Bobby? Probably not. I did a couple of those fun game shows. But the only show I would do is Chopped, because I think that's a really cool show, and Beat Bobby Flay, because I love that show, because it's all about the cooking. I'm so tired of, like, these, like, shows, and it's, like, about the drama and the fake stuff. Like, I don't want to see that. Okay, beautiful crust here. I could get a better crust on this side, to be honest. So a lot of people stop right here and they eat this. So see what's going on here? I mean, it's lovely. We got crustification. Everything's in there. It's beautiful. But I'm going to put a cheese crust on there right now. And I think that's where the difference is. Someone says Kroger has a simple truth keto ice cream. It's amazing. Is this Bobby approved though? Um, I'd have to see the ingredients. I know Publix has an organic ice cream that has no filler and only like, I think 10 grams of added sugar, which is not bad for the ice cream world. That being said, I finally saw the white whale. I saw Coconut Bliss at Sprouts the other day. It is the most clean dairy-free ice cream ever. There's no natural flavors, which is one of the only ice creams in the planet that doesn't have it. And it's relatively moderate sugar. Their chocolate peanut butter one with this really weird uh, face, this kid's face on the front has amazing ingredients and only 12 grams of added sugar per serving, which when you want ice cream, it could easily be 18 to 30, which is too much. Amazing. I'm uh, going to buy some next time I go there. Erica said that uh, coconut cult ice cream might be at Sprouts at some time, point in the future, which would be great because we can't afford to buy $22 a pound ice cream <laughs> that often, right? But ooh, look at Rose left. Honey mangoes from Costco a.k.a. Alta Ufo mangoes from Ecuador. Mmm. Hey, Bado. Mmm. No, Carb Smart is toxic. You're going to poop your pants. It's horrible. Horrible. It was Donnie staying till Christmas. It was a one-way ticket, so my goal is actually to keep her until next January because it's like, Oh, don't leave in the summer. We're moving in the fall. We need you. Oh, don't leave after that. Those holidays are here. We have a big house now. So we'll see. All right, cheese crust, you guys. This is the go time. You take cheese. You put it in the pan. Then you take your 
tortilla. You put it back in here like that. You put it back in here like that. And you just wait. You let it cook on there for a couple minutes when you get the queso crust. So now it's the queso crust breakfast tortilla wrap hack. Don't stop. Right? Did you TikTok that? Oh, that would have gone viral. Man. Wasn't prepared. So Michael Pete's uh, Super Chat 499 telling you, look up mud ice cream, amazing ingredients. I reach out to them to reach out to you. Look it up. Google it right now. This is the beauty of having bread. Mud ice cream. Sounds like Brad pays it. You got to get a little mud on the tires. Mmm, honey mangoes on spot. I haven't seen that brand. Uh, I don't have any ingredients. That's weird. Well, no ingredients on their website. Oh, there we go. Ingredients. Coconut milk, date sweetened, cacao, and vanilla. I'd like to see the um, macros, but that sounds really interesting. Where can you buy it? Only online? Hmm. It looks pretty legit. Huh. Very exciting. Sweetened with dates, yeah. The, I've never heard of a sweetened. date sweetened. Wow, very interesting. Renee can't wait for the, uh, oh, Flav City Keto Diabetic Strawberry Lemonade. Coming this summer, Brad and Dirk had it this weekend. It's, it's like Crystal Light, but it won't kill you. It's really good. I probably shouldn't say it. <laughs> it's like Crystal Light, but much better. Ah. Oh, thank you, Sue. Got a freezing Copenhagen in the house. Yeah, Donnie. Uh, J uh, Jackie, Donnie's awesome. Shaheen, yeah, date syrup. Date syrup is bomb. A lot of people don't use it. It's probably more popular in the Middle East where Shaheen is. <laughs> is uh, Brad Art's brother. <laughs> we called him Young Art back in the day. All right. All right, here's the money shot. If we're on TikTok right now, I'd be doing like some filter or something. All right. So this is I'm going to Aldi today. This is interesting. If I could buy only buy only Ooh. item, one item there, what should it be? Aldi. Boom goes a dynamite. One item from Aldi. Please. Hold on. Look at that. Oh, what do you do? TikTok is like, wow. like that. Come on. Are you joking me? One item from Aldi. The 100% grass-fed beef for like four eighty or five dollars a pound. Um. That'd be it. If you want a dessert, the keto cookies are insane in the membrane. I gotta show you guys what this looks like here. I mean, this is kind of kooky. We should do, uh, we should start a TikTok account and build another one. Maggie B says give one to that dude. Of course. Well, we got, it should be like TikTok viral, you have to be like half nude, right? So maybe I'll have like Desi put on a bikini and be like, like that. <laughs> look, Jesse, look at this. Would be a good thumbnail. Oh man! I got a show right now. Oh my god, you guys! It's almost like um, what's that? A uh, Greek? Uh, that Greek cheese? Feta? No, they light on fire. Oh, it's like saganaki. Ah ha! Oh my god! That's actually started in Chicago. It's like that's a, right. It's like a burrito saganaki. They are gluten free. Yeah, it is saganaki. It's a we got a new name. It's the breakfast tortilla hack. Rap, chick, sock, saganaki hop. We go, we go, what? <laughs> Rose, honey. Rose is it's, oh, it's very hot. Let's cut it in half so people can see. Now you need your um, accouchement. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. Coffee is amazing, by the way. Oh, save me. Let me make you a second cup. Okay. No more bot. Hardy, hard, Rose is hard. excited. Come on. Rose Daddy, is like, Rose, should we do a TikTok? Want to make a TikTok? Rose, honey, hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, oh, you need your salsa. Double roasted. Oh, Tomato I need, salsa. I don't need double roasted. Th th that'll be your shirt. Like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> your crema. Oh, wow. Okay. Now we take. I can imagine like a really cruddy version of this being at like Taco Bell. The kind that's like so what bad it's gonna call, like. What are they gonna call it? The chilupa? Something like that, like a <laughs> diarrhea lupa or something like that. I don't, I don't know. We go in half like that. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> Gotta sharpen my knife. Oh, wow. 
No, this is like a total kind of fast food kind of thing. Look inside here. It's very hot. You got to be careful. I'm on fire this morning. I'm on fireball. Wow, look at that. There you go, ladies. What did Maggie B say? Maggie B asks Desi, or yeah, Desi, what do the flavor profile? Let me try first. Boom, boom, fireball. Wow. You got to give me your full breakdown in Spanish. This is epic, baby. Oh, wow. Epic. Worth the TikTok hype? Um, yeah, sure. Because, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, listen, you guys. So, okay. So, you, you'll be like, oh, okay, I can just make a burrito. Like, forget about it, right? Right. Well, so yes, but no, because burrito is very, um, it's like mm -hmm. the stuffing is pretty big and fat. And this one is like a panini. I mean, who, like, compare, like, a sandwich with a panini. Who wouldn't want a panini? You always go for the panini because it's thinner, it's crispier, and it's delicious. So I would say this is the panini of burritos. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. Mm. Wow. That's really good. Mm. <laughs> that is good. Shamon. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Mm. It has that burrito feel. Yeah. But the press, the George mm -hmm. Foreman press, right? Mm -hmm. Is the knockout, the TKO. Jackie had him spiggle. Bobby, you should get an emoji <laughs> added for Baba Dani. I like the way you think. Get your brother oh, on that right. immediately. Yeah. By the way, I love your French. Ah, oh, merci beaucoup, mon ami Jackie. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, so good. Dude, insane in the membrane. It's better than a burrito. All right, that's what I yeah. said. When we're done, we should film another one for like an Instagram video. I don't have TikTok, but man, oh, Shevitz. That's delicious. The cheese crust. It's all about the cheese crust, Rose. Tammy asks, making my first layered order. What should I order? I love coffee and chocolate, Bobby. Mm. Okay. I got your cover. This creamer, I just drank right now with some Insta Fuel. Chocolate mint creamer. How do they get it in there? With like cane sugar and artificial flavors? Yeah, right. Raw cacao powder. Touch of coconut sugar, only one gram-ish. Look at that. So I would get this combined with this. Did you have some eggs already? Amazing stuff. And then if you want the best greens powder in the world right now, it's not athletic greens or whatever. It's Activate Prebiotic Daily Greens. I put this in my smoothie every day. This is your daily greens powder. It's like, I don't know how many servings, but a ton of servings of organic greens, prebiotics. Now, sometimes people cheat with prebiotics. So put like, Really cruddy sources of fiber in there, or like tapioca starch. They're using sweet potato flour and banana flour. These are real prebiotics that feed your gut bacteria. Well, careful, Rose. And then oh, all Rose, these mushrooms here. Rose, Rose, Rose. <laughs> Rose. Go back to mommy. Eat some more uh, TikTok wrap. Rose. This is the kind of stuff you want. This is amazing. And it says, look at that, coconut. I don't know why it says wheat in there. I have to find out what that is, but. I mean, this is amazing. Baba needs to try it. Baba? Oh. oh. Come, let's give to Baba. Rose. Mama, why don't we put the burrito? And Tammy, remember to it's use Bobby's discount code for when you do do your layer order. Yeah, well, I don't really have it. Use my link down below. The link, the link. Yeah, and then sign up for the email list. What the heck happened here? There we go. Sign up for the email list and get 10% off on their website. Yeah, performance mushrooms. Uh, yes, I recommend that too because... I put an extra scoop in mushrooms in everything I do. I'm a big fan of lion's mane, reishi, stuff like that. Very important for uh, immune and for brain performance. I'm huge on mushrooms, dude. I'm tripping mushrooms all day, every day, y'all. Burrito? How much a sandwich? Donnie's having the most interesting food here. Everything I make is like, very interesting. I've never heard of this before. A lot of Mexican food she's having too. We love Mexican food. Wow. <laughs> man, oh man. Dinosity. Is there more glass there? No, I just I thought I saw. So dino, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we got. I don't have it. I guess I have a TikTok, but I haven't logged in forever. I'll do a quick, maybe uh, a quick little uh, Instagram video since we have everything prepped out here. Oh my God, so good. For me, it's that cheese crust. Yes. And an hour on the dot, babe. How about that? Come on. I am literally, call me Pitbull, it's on fire. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, that's it. We're gonna eat, go to the beach, get some sun, have some fun, and need my vitamin D. Watch the game later on. Got three pounds of pasture raised Cook's Venture Thrive Market wings. We're gonna bake them. <laughs> yes, that's how Danny feels. I feel that way, my love. And uh, toss them in some, uh, I have Primal Kitchen avocado oil, uh, buffalo sauce. That or make my own with Frankie, with Frank's. Anything else interesting or no? The comments are, I'm not, is it okay to refresh? Yeah, refresh it. No, I noticed it was kind of freezing over there. Uh, yeah, we'll be back next week. We might probably just do back-to-back -back breakfast with Bobby. The weeks are getting kind of crazy. So Saturday, Sunday morning could be the call going forward. We shall see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask Publix, please. Yeah, don't worry, it's gonna happen soon. Mm -hmm. Can you say hi to someone's son? I Alex. saw that, Alex. Thank you. Good, su good Sunday morning for you. Go Bucks. I agree. I'm rooting for the Bucks. Super chat from Kiki. Canadian, seven dollars. Thank you for all the information. So let me lose thirty-five pounds. Yeah, Kiki. Date sugar is that a good option? It is. It's a fantastic paleo a sweetener. Same as like a coconut sugar or whatnot. All right, that is it. Try any of the layered products, but the keto ones I talked about are great. If you're a coffee drinker, if you're a coffee, she knows at the end of the video. Uh, if you're a coffee creamer lover, the mushrooms, the peely nuts, layered superfood is the bomb. Use my link down below. When you go on their website, wait a minute for the pop-up for 10% off. Amazing stuff. Uh, so that is it. Two back-to-back -back gangbusters, 10 out of 10 breakfast with Bobby's uh, this weekend. Have a great Sunday for Baba Donnie, for Rose Honey Parish, for Bradley P., for Desi P, and for myself, and for Jackie Adam Spiegel, for $20, just thanks for being you, Rose. Thanks for being you, huh? How sweet is that? Uh, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag, keep on cooking. Mad love, and say peace, Rose. Bye. Oh, you did the peace, did you? You cutie little thing. Uh, hasta luego, amigos. Buen dia.